Hello everybody, my name is Julian, the lead developer and creator of Lens Island, and today I'm going to take you on an exclusive walkthrough on what's new and improved with building for our new Uncharted Waters update. Uh, the Uncharted Waters update is all about our new procedural generation slash handcrafted system. And what this means is you can actually build in every corner of the world and go to a lot of different places and build a lot of things you couldn't before. So step one, I'm going to build a boat and uh, we're going to go explore this world and I'm going to show you some cool new places to build and some new improvements and changes to the building system itself. So let's set sail and find a place to build. So there are lots of islands, big and small. Uh, beside me we can see uh, a small little island that actually has some inhabitants on it. Uh, they will bite as well, so we'll be careful. Let's stand on the clay, and hopefully they can't. Oh, they, they're mining the clay though. Okay, let's <laughs> let's uh, do a quick run around the island while we uh, while we talk then. So here is a tiny little island. It has a little ruin, it has some crabs that live on it. Uh, but we could actually build and sort of edit and expand upon this ruin and completely make this island our own if we wanted it to. There's several new biomes. This is one of the sort of the standard green forest islands that they sort of come to love in, in Lens Island. So let's go visit some of the other brand new biomes and we'll actually build some homes and yeah, see what it's like. So here we are at a desert island, one of the new biomes here at Lens Island. And the cool thing about desert islands is there's lots of these structures here that you can actually build upon and modify and sort of build a home or a base or a bridge or whatever you want to build um, actually into the environment. So we have this cool ruined bridge here. And let's open up our build menu and if I basically just start placing foundations, I could just really quickly and easy basically complete this bridge and, and make it my own bridge, make it usable once again. Uh, the other cool thing I could do is sort of utilize some of the new building pieces in Lens Island. One of them being the foundation extension. So what these do is actually basically snap to existing foundations, but you don't need any footing underneath them. Uh, and they also create a little sort of alleyway or I guess area underneath them. So you could even use this as a nice little sort of drawbridge or something to, um, to basically sail your boats underneath this bridge. So look, I'm gonna have a quick go at uh, expanding this bridge and, and making it suit the environment. And let's see what I can come up with. So here's a little something I put together. It's my take of an ornate bridge. Uh, it's got a little entryway for my rafts to pass through, some cool little lookout areas here to look out over my bay, and, uh, and these nice little sort of structures on the end. But this is just a really simple example of the type of thing that you can build in, uh, in all around Lens Island in the new update. And uh, yeah, look, I'll even just show you my little raft. So let's build a little raft, hop on that, oh, try not to capsize it, and I can even sort of drive my raft through the little uh, through the little bridge I made. So yeah, just one example of a cool little desert island build. But look, let's set sail, search for some more biomes and build some more stuff. So I was sailing around the map and one of the cool things I want to show you all about the new procedural generation is the fact that you can actually get islands spawning pretty close to each other. And what this also means is you can now build between islands. So we have a tropical island here, which is another one of the new biomes to sort of kick your feet back and <laughs> enjoy the simple life. And I could quite easily actually build a little row of foundations here leading to a nearby Birch Forest Island as well. So this just opens up a whole new world of possibilities to be able to create homes between several islands. So we have our Birch Forest on the left and in the distance we have our nice tropical island and just a short bridge joining the two. But I'm gonna get back on my boat and uh, we're going to look for a Mediterranean island to build our next home. Here we are at one of the Mediterranean islands, and as you can see, it's a really cool place to build on. Lots and lots of room, uh, some really interesting trees and flowers, and you can also come across uh, ruins and other structures uh, already existing here that you can build upon or tear down for supplies or do whatever you want. Mediterranean islands generally are really, really pretty places to build and are uh, very lush of resources as well and a great opportunity to show you some of the other little improvements and additions are made to the building system. Uh, one of the biggest ones being, you can actually freely build at any rotation now. Uh, previously in Lens Island, building was restricted to 45 degree angles only, but now you can place foundations at just about any angle you'd like to make complete freeform building of, of any shape, any size. This goes for decorations and a lot of the other build items. You can now freely rotate them at any angle to have complete freedom when you build your home. And with all this extra building, you'll probably find yourself going through resources quicker than ever. So we actually have the brand new wood pile and stone pile that you can store all of your excess clay, stone, 
limestone, and also all of your wood and hardwood. Whether you're just getting started and building a little shack and wanting to store some extra wood, or you're building a massive sprawling base over several continents and islands, uh, the stockpiles are a perfect way to be able to store excess resources for all of your building supply needs. And now for something very exciting, which is brand new to Uncharted Waters, is the new town upgrade system. And I'm not gonna show too much of the system because I'd like to keep some of it a surprise, but part of it is making uh, houses for villagers. So here's a plot of land that's been cleared when I've upgraded the town. And what we can do is actually build a home for an NPC or a villager. And once I build them that home, they'll be able to set up shop and I'll be able to trade with them. So we have our little letterbox here. We can see here's our plot of land and we need to build a bed and a building. So I'm basically gonna go ahead and freely build whatever building I like. Um, all it needs is, is a bed and a, and, a, and a roof over the bed. Um, just needs it to be ample enough uh, for the villager. And uh, the second we meet those requirements, we can move them in. So uh, let's go ahead and make a quick little building. So here we are at the, the finished home. Um, I've, I've done one of my sort of unique uh, stone and wood designs. Uh, and the last step is to just build a bed. So all we have to do is place a little bed. So let's rotate this maybe up against this window here. And if I whoop, jump down through here. Now if I click on the letterbox, we can see the bed and the buildings already. So now I can pick one of my lucky villages and drag them in and we'll move them in. And now we have a home that's ready for a villager and they'll be able to set up shop. So this is one of the really cool features uh, of the new Uncharted Waters update and just one of the many ways where you can expand and build upon the town and make it completely your own and make every single town unique. So thanks for watching the video. There is a lot more that's newer building that's actually outside of this vi video. I tried to keep some certain aspects and certain new items a surprise so you can all actually find it out for the first time when you play. And uh, there's going to be lots more of these videos to come, lots more sneak peeks of the Uncharted Waters update as we get closer and closer towards the update release on the 16th of December. So thank you all so much for watching, and as always, have an amazing day.